fellow Schneider drivers, friendly Bill coming at you. This is going to be a video that I hope is helpful to new drivers, to veteran drivers, to all types of Schneider drivers. Something happened the other day, it was yesterday actually, I got a stability control issue. I got a phone call from my DBL. He said, uh, you got a stability control yesterday. And I, my truck, it's a 2020. Um, when I get a stability control, I, I don't have any idea. Now, the older trucks, my uh, 2014, when I got a stability control, it'd make a sound, a big sound. And then there'd be, uh, on the uh, Qualcomm, there'd be a little red triangle. That's how you knew you had a stability control, but it was the sound. So you hear that sound and you knew that exactly what you just did caused the stability control. My, this new truck doesn't do that. So I don't know when I'm getting these stability controls. I, I got one yesterday, I guess, and I got a phone call. If you haven't gotten a stability control yet, wow, my hat's off to you um, because you will. Uh, I don't care if you've been driving for 30 years or three days. The trucks are very sensitive and you will fire off one of these stability control messages, errors, without even knowing it. So everybody's going to get a stability control, so I wanted to talk about how to handle these stability control calls. A stability control, there's different levels of severity, okay? There's the very minimum severity where it just, it, it's really sensitive and it fired off and you didn't do anything wrong. Uh, well, technically you did something wrong, but you didn't, you weren't in danger. And then you have the highest level, which are like hard brakes and, and really swerving the truck and really uh, getting dangerously close to um, a rollover. But what I want to talk about is how to handle these calls. Now, one of these calls, uh, depending on the severity, can and, and your responses to the questions can last three hours or they can last 10 minutes. And it kind of depends on how you approach these calls on how long the call will last. Okay, I do not like these, you know, it's, it's just part of working for Schneider. You're gonna get these stability control calls. It's just a part of being safe. It's just a part of the job. I'm not saying that I love it. I'm just saying that it's a fact of nature and I want to help those of us who get them occasionally to get the process to move quicker so you're not on the phone for three hours, okay? First and foremost, when you get a phone call, they're going to say, hey, you got a stability control. Now, whether you know you got a stability control or not doesn't matter. What matters is the truck sensed a stability issue and the error was sent to your DBL and they have it. So, first and foremost, acknowledge the stability control. Don't argue for 20 minutes. Well, my truck didn't get a, I didn't get a stability. I don't know what you're talking. My truck doesn't. Okay, it doesn't matter what you think. It got a stability control. So number one, acknowledge. Okay, so what I did, hey, you got a stability control yesterday. I said, oh, oh, I didn't know. Okay, I got one. That ends that part. Okay, that took seven seconds. Okay, second, when you get these stability control calls, Schneider, your DBL, already has a really good idea about what happened. Okay, there's cameras in the truck. There's there's the on-guard system that can sense obstacles all around you. They when they by the time they call you, 95% of the time they already know what happened, but they're going to ask you, "Hey, what happened?" Okay? Be honest. Okay? For me, I took I, I just took the turn too fast. Okay, I was at a, I was uh, at a green light. The light was green. I was already had momentum. Uh, I didn't slow down enough to make the turn. I took the turn a little bit too quick. I think my DBL said I was going 15 miles an hour in this turn, and it sent off the sensor. So I was honest. I took the turn too quick. My bad. I won't do it again. That ends that. But if you don't, if you're dishonest about it, oh well, I was. I was driving and then there was this 
school bus of nuns and they were coming and I had to really punch on the gas or they were going to broadside me or or uh, there was a Cinco de Mayo parade going on and and uh, you know uh, they have sensors and cameras on these trucks they already know what happened so when they're asking you what happened they want to hear you they want to know if you're going to be honest because if you're not honest about what happened they're going to wonder what what else are you being dishonest about and they're gonna that's gonna lengthen this questioning uh, because they already most likely they already know what happened they just want to hear you be honest about it if you're dishonest this call is gonna go from 15 minutes to two hours okay so just be honest honesty is always the best policy because they already know okay they already know the answers to these questions are asking you so just be honest so I said no nope, I took it too quick Okay, that took like a total of 15 seconds to, to acknowledge it and to tell them what happened. 15 seconds, okay? Third thing, they are then going to give you ways uh, to avoid doing the same thing. Now this is the time when you shut your mouth and you listen. You listen to everything they're saying. Don't interrupt, don't argue with the points. Just listen to what they have to say, okay? My DBL said, uh, you need to slow down more in your turns. And I said, you're right. I usually I usually slow down enough. I didn't slow down enough this time. It was my mistake, my bad. I'll try to do better. That ends that, okay? I listened, I acknowledged, and I was honest, okay? So, so far, this phone call's taken about 30 seconds. Now, if you do not listen, and if you're one of these, oh, I've, I've been driving for 30 years and this is bullshit. Oh, this is bullshit. I don't need a machine to tell me how to drive. Okay. Now, this conversation, now you're inching up to three hours. Okay. Your attitude is a big part of this phone call. So, like I said, acknowledge that you got it. Be honest about what happened. And listen to the DBL. This is a mini training. Okay. You made a mistake. You fired off the sensor. Now it's time to listen to, to get pointers on how not to do it again. Okay, the next thing is don't justify, don't justify getting a stability control, okay? I, like I said, you can be a veteran. Um, there's no just, it's not, it doesn't matter. They're not saying, hey man, you're a lousy driver. Uh, we don't like you. They're saying you got a stability control. Okay, a little stability control. So don't don't sit there and try to justify getting the stability control. It doesn't matter. Okay, even if it's justified, it doesn't change the fact that you got a stability control. So don't sit there and try to go on and on about about how great of a driver you are and how how you drove the oil fields and you you drove the ice road and 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 you can change the tire with just a wrench and all this stuff, they don't care, okay? The DBL has a job to do. They have points they have to hit when they make these phone calls. Allow them to hit the points and get going and get it over with. So don't justify getting a stability control. And the last thing you wanna do is the solution, okay? You've got the stability control, you know what happened, you know what to do different, now what are you gonna do about it, okay? You come up with a solution. I come up with a solution myself because I can do it quickly and I know it'll get the ball rolling and I can get this phone call done in less than a minute. So what I say, I whatever the solution is, I, I offer it first. You know what I really should do? I should really slow down before I get into the turn. That way I know that I'm not going too fast for the turn. I, really, I should really be aware. I should really um, drive smart and I should really slow down before I get to the turn. And I'll do that, I usually do that, I'll make sure I do that moving forward. Bang. Okay, thanks Bill. Be safe. My phone call was over in like a minute. Okay. If they off, okay, if you don't offer a solution, they're gonna offer you solutions and you have to sit there and listen to, to all their solutions and, and if like you start justifying again or arguing, okay, these phone calls can last three hours, okay? But if you approach them the right way, you acknowledge, you be honest, all these things, these phone calls are over quite quickly. 
okay? So it's not the end of the world. Uh, stability control, it's not the end of the world. It happens, everybody gets them. The trucks are very sensitive. You know, it's, and then ultimately, it's for your own safety. I, I appreciate, I like the stability control. It keeps me from doing stupid things. Uh, I see rollovers almost every day. And uh, the rollovers, they're not all new drivers, okay? Some of these guys, you know, what happens is you get confident and you start driving a little faster. And you get more confident and you drive a little faster, 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 bang, rollover, okay? It happens to veterans, it happens to new drivers, it happens all the time. So, those are some tips on battling uh, stability control calls. That being said, I'm sitting here in uh, French camp. Uh, I talked to this uh, driver in front of me and uh, he allowed me to park behind him. I'm sitting here for a 34 hour restart. If you see a bobtail in a full, in a full space and there's no other parking, I don't know if you can see that. If there's no other parking, I knocked on the door. Hey man, I'm a Schneider driver. Uh, can I park behind you? What time are you leave? A lot of the time, unless they're jerks, we'll allow you to park behind them. It's not a big deal. This guy was super cool. So, be friendly to your fellow Schneider driver. Schneider drivers, you're the best drivers because of your training, uh, your background check, drug testing. I can trust Schneider drivers. Friendly Bill, catch you on the flip.